So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the place we're staying at here in Pensacola. The condo was so nice and yes, it was kind of big because I had planned on my husband coming and my in-laws coming and then um, just because with horses and things like that, they couldn't come. So I had bought this huge condo and I have to tell you the price of it was a really, really good deal. Like a really good deal because I was looking up hotels, like regular hotels. They were almost $300 a night because it was spring break and this was not much more of it much more over. If we'd have gotten one just for like the four of us, it had been even half the price and cheaper than a hotel. Um, but it was really, really nice. And it was just nice to like be able to bring Gideon over so he can get out of his dorm and have some real meals. I mean, it was just, it was so nice. And I gave Izzy the big room because I want to see the beach. And you know, she was so funny too. I mean, oh my goodness. She loved it so much. I would go in there and she would have like um, her drinks beside her with snacks and she'd have like her stuffed animals around her and then she was watching a show. I mean, oh my goodness. So, so cute. Um, but yeah, it was really, really nice and it had so many things to do. Like you could um, go to the big pool. Each, each, um, each of the, I can't talk. Each of the different condos had their own pool and hot tub, which weren't busy at all. And then you could ride bikes and play tennis or pickleball. You could go to the big pool. They had um, a restaurant on the up along the pool. They also had a really nice little restaurant inside. They had a Starbucks, a couple shops. They had a huge weight room upstairs with different things. So there really was a lot to do. You could go kayaking or paddle boarding. Um, you could that you you were given two chairs with an umbrella for free. In the back, they had this um, this obstacle course on the water. And so you could go in that. So, and then they had dolphin tours. Like they had so many things that you could do there, which was really, really nice. So honestly, you didn't really have to leave. I mean, you could have just hung out there. You just get up, cross the street, go to the beach all day. And it was kind of out of everything. So we're more down where the busy was in Pensacola Beach. We weren't a part of that. We were so far away. And so we did ride bikes a couple of times to go down there to do like putt-putt and, and shop and stuff and have some lunch. But we were out of the thick of it and we were actually close to a state park, which was really cool. So you could drive down to the state park and you could go on the beach or, you know, whatever, fish or whatever. So the location of the Portofino is really, really nice. And I guess they have plans to do two more. So they have two more buildings going up. I don't know where. They they do have lots of property, but but it was really neat because you had water on both sides of you. You kind of had the inlet where the ocean was and then the actual like, I mean, they're both the ocean, but you could go on both sides, like more of like in the bay then to the ocean, but it was so beautiful. I mean, it was sunny every day. It was just so nice. It was like a much, much needed vacation. Okay, here we go. Here's a tour. So here is the wraparound deck or beach view, which I wanted. Oh, it keeps going. Okay, there we go. Oh, the ocean sounds great. Okay. And so then there's a table to have breakfast on. Oh, I think that door opens up. Okay, so then it comes into here it is the living room, dining room. And I'm gonna take this room because I wanna wake up to looking at the ocean. There we go. And then there's a bathroom. It's not gonna be as nice as the one I let Izzy do. There's a small bathroom here. Okay, we gotta get the refrigerator stuff put away, you guys. Come on. And then here's the kitchen. There's the cookies I made Gideon. The kitchen. This is the very nice entryway. Laundry room, don't break nothing. So this is the boys. Gideon and Noah are gonna be staying in this room. So everybody gets a view of the beach. We also get chairs, I think, free chairs. Look at that, the one down below. They got a nice little deck to lounge in. Ooh, that'd be nice. So this is the boys' room. And it uh, actually wasn't too bad, honestly. It's way nicer than I thought. And then here is the, oh, there we go. Look at that shower tub. Nice little stuff. Okay, now let's come in here. And this should be my room, but I'm letting Izzy stay in it. Let's see what the bathroom looks like. Oh, man. Come on. 
No, no. Well, I'm sharing that bathtub with you. We're gonna have to all take turns in there. So you don't get it by, yeah, I'm sure you do. So this is supposed to be my room. Look at that big, huge bed. It's supposed to be my room. Just be careful, make sure your things are shut, so. All right, go ahead, put your little things on there. The pig, the chicken. What's that one? What's that one? Pascal, okay. So here is a tour of the condo. And then we went grocery shopping. This is pretty nice, hey? Yeah. Izzy's got a walk-in closet. I, sh I gave her the master suite. Let me see, where's the walk-in closet? I got a creepy chair in the corner. So. That is a creepy chair. Yeah. <laughs> okay, help us get the... Okay, super nice. Super nice. We have been waiting and walking around this place for like two hours. Yeah, this is okay. I don't mind the smaller bed because I get to wake up. When I wake up in the morning, this is what I get to see right here. And I'm going to keep these doors open so I can hear the water. Oh, man. Grocery. We got a watermelon. This is super nice. Super, super nice. All right. Let's sit down here. It's been raining. Oh, these are all wet. It's been raining, but now it's really nice outside. So we had to get up at uh, 4, 3.30 in the morning to hit a flight. Um, we had to be at the airport at 4.10. Uh, we flew out at 5.30 and the flight going wasn't bad. Um, and then when we got to Atlanta, we had like an hour and a half um, wait. And so because it literally had rained from when we left the house, snow and rain, all the way down to Florida, rain. So, excuse me, <laughs> we had sushi, so perfect. <laughs> and so when we got to Pensacola, um, the, I guess there was a, boy, there's, there's a thing just saying our room is ready. We've literally been waiting like for hours. And so when we got to Pensacola, there was a storm coming through. And so the pilot said, we're gonna have to circle around, kind of just kind of, well, he said, just kind of hang waiting for the storm to pass. Well, we ended up waiting and going in a circle over the ocean, over Pensacola, over the ocean, over Pensacola for an hour. We were supposed to land at 1020, we didn't land till 1130. And I was literally getting sick, Izzy was getting sick because it was speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. And then it would um, kind of float and then go up and then go down. Like, And I was really struggling. I gave Izzy a piece of ginger and we were both like really, really struggling. Um, so yeah, the flight coming in and on our way to Atlanta, um, it was a two hour and 10 minute flight and the um, airline, the pilot said, just wanna let you know, our last hour is gonna be rough and bumpy. So put your seats up, put your trays up. We can't serve anything. And so it was, it was bumpy, um, but we were so tired. Like Izzy was leaned over me, Noah was on side of me. I mean, we were exhausted. And then when, on our Pensacola, we weren't in our flight maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes. And they said it was gonna be a bumpy flight and it was. It was like like dropping and lifting and dropping and shaking side to side. Like it was really, really rough. And so I just breathed through my nose. Izzy looked at me, she was like, Mom, I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm not feeling too good. I said, just take this ginger, you know, suck on this ginger, just relax, breathe through your nose, you know, put your shoulder your head on my shoulder, just kinda of relax. And so we dealt with um, an hour, two hours of bumpy up and down, stop and go. Like it, it, a couple of the bumps was like, ooh, are we gonna make it? So I was praying, Lord, help us get there. And I'm thinking, okay, what can I say to all my family if something happens? Like I really was kind of like, and I knew that it wasn't gonna happen, but, um, and so when we got on our plane at Atlanta, there was actual plane beside us that was delayed because the plane got hit by lightning and all the power and stuff, I guess, like started to go out. So they had to do like an emergency landing so the people who were heading to Philadelphia, um, they had like an hour delay or something. They were trying to get a plane there because um, it got hit by lightning. Can you imagine being on a plane and it getting hit by lightning? That would be absolutely crazy. So that's kind of our little uh, flight coming here. And then we got here and our room wasn't ready. And the guy said that the order was put in late. And so we walked around for an hour just checking things out. And I'm thinking, man, my feet hurt. 
I'm tired. I haven't slept in like a week. I'm ready to relax. And so I went up there, walked up there. I'm like, hey, is our room ready? They're like, yeah, we'll get you in. And then when we came in here, the guy was still doing the finishing touches. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. He's like, no, no, you're good. So anyway, that's kind of how our day went. Um, but it's, it's really nice. I'm super excited to put my feet up, relax. Um, I got meals planned because Gideon said he wants to eat home-cooked meals. So I'm going to make um, breakfast pizza, biscuits and gravy. We're going to have hamburgers because he's making tacos. Um, I think we're going to do brats one day. And I think we're going to go to a really nice called the fish house. Oh, my goodness, the best food ever. Shrimp and grits is amazing. So before I go, I'm going to show you one more picturesque of the ocean. And I get to hear this all week. I'm so excited. The flights were crazy and the flights were even crazy coming back. Like it got so bad coming back that Izzy almost lost it. And I said, okay, we gotta be, we gotta be calm because if we lose it, other people will panic. And I was really, really worried. Like it was, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on, but like the last three flights I've been on, every single one have been rocky. I don't know if, I don't know. I don't know if maybe just because the weather's been so off, but the, the pilot when we were heading into Chicago said that um, I'm going to go the easy way because I've talked to other pilots or maybe other planes have radioed in letting them know that there's one route that's really, really bad and one route that's better. And so I'm definitely glad that we hit the better one because it, it was scary. Like I was scared. Like I was scared. And literally when we got home because we, well, we ended up flying into Appleton and so we had to stay the night, but both flights were so bad that I, and I know this is like movies, I wanted to get off the plane and kiss the ground. Like, I'm serious. And I I fly. I fly all the time. Planes don't bother me. The the rough, you know, when if it's a little bumpy, it doesn't bother me. And I literally wanted to kiss the ground. I was so happy to be home. And, and Brett Noah's like, come on, mom, let's go. Let's get home. But so we, we got home and it was, um, well, when we flew in, it was 1230 our time. And I said, no, I'm not going to get home till four in the morning. I said, there's no way I'm going to keep my eyes open. So we did drive for 30 minutes to Green Bay. And so then the next morning we woke up and we did a little shop and we got all my seeds and stuff um, for planting our garden and they picked up some things. But I know a lot of people have asked about like the refrigerator. Do we eat everything? And so we did eat a lot. Um, what was left over? Oh my goodness. What was left over, we brought home. So I literally bought a little cooler with some ice packs in it to put in my my suitcase. And so I, cause we had sausage left and bacon left because when we didn't eat out a lot, but we had plans for more people to come visit us. Well, all of Gideon's friends, their parents came. So they were spending time with their parents and then Gideon wanted to spend time with us. And so the plans kind of adjusted a little bit. So I literally in my suitcase had maple syrup, pancake mix, bacon, sausage, hot dogs, butter. Um, Noah had, um, but that the bags of he had one bag of potatoes. He had, um, I think a ketchup and mustard and a mayonnaise like we, cause I didn't want to leave anything there. I think I ended up leaving a jar of pickles that we never opened. And so for the next people, they weren't even opened, but I was afraid to put them in a suitcase because man, it, that would be a mess. And then I think I left, um, I think we had a half a gallon of milk that didn't get drank. So that got left and these were sealed. I didn't want to leave like half stuff. And then um, I think we left a package of hot dogs, maybe. It was one more thing I can't remember. Maybe some lunch meat or cheeses that we didn't eat. No, because I brought home the cheese sticks. I mean, we literally had what was left over in our suitcases. And I was praying, man, I hope when I get there, I pray that my suitcase isn't over. And so when we got home, and, and so every time I go on a trip, I buy my kids like one thing. So I got them Hawaiian, like Hawaiian looking shirts. And then the girls, I got bracelets. And cute little sundresses. So they have the best deals. Like like you go to those shops, like those Alvin shops, you could get the cutest stuff super cheap. And so as I'm opening my suitcase, my husband's like, well, what in the world is in there? I said, I don't want to waste it. So I came home with butter. And I think I came home with my spices. I bought salt, pepper, and garlic salt. Came home with that. And I'm like, I ain't going to keep this stuff there, man. And I had coffee that I didn't open up because I was drinking my tea. And so he was laughing at me because literally the one side of my suitcase was literally food. Like all food. <laughs> whatever, whatever. But, um, so yeah, so we did eat a lot of it. We did. And I left some stuff with getting like the bottled waters, um, some fruit that bags of apples, well, one bag of apples. And so I did leave things that like the, like, um, I think we had a little bit of watermelon left over. So I put it in a Tupperware because he has a mini fridge. And so I did send him home or him back to his room with some stuff. And then of course his cookies 
And then his Easter basket, I took him and Emily, his girlfriend, an Easter basket. Um, I put it in my suitcase, loaded it up, and that's where the food went. So that went out and then the food went in. But but it was it was so fun. It was so nice to see him. I really hated to leave him. And and when we were packing up, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. When we were packing up to leave, um, I started to like cry. Like it was like just so hard to just knowing that I'm leaving him. And and you know, it doesn't get easier. Like I've seen him like four times, five times, and I get I feel like I'm getting sadder as it goes. And I know he's gonna come back soon, or not soon, but you know, maybe a year or whatever, because he wants to settle down here, but um, it was hard. Like I was like walking out of there and I was trying to not cry in front of the kids. So I was trying to keep it together, but it was just so fun having him around every single day. And we rode bikes and we got ice cream and we played on the beach and, and we played tennis, which really didn't go very well. And we had dinner together and, you know, we went to church for Easter and I, and I found a wonderful, beautiful, wonderful Brazilian restaurant in Pensacola where they come and they bring the food to you. Oh my goodness. It was amazing. It was literally amazing. And so that was kind of our Easter dinner. And they had some special things on there because of Easter. So they did salmon and fish and things like that. And it was so, so good. And so um, we went to church with them for Sunday, for Easter Sunday. We went out to lunch and then we had to head to the um, airport. But um, it definitely doesn't make it easier. But he'll be home in like three weeks. And in three weeks, we get our first photo. Our, our will all be our second photo shoot for the actual cookbook, which I'm super excited about. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had so much fun and it was just so nice and just relaxing and, you know, and, and you can sleep in, but I barely slept in because how do you sleep in when the sun is rising and it's so beautiful or the sun sets, you don't go to bed at night cause the sun sets. And then we just, um, we went to the pool and hung out in the hot tub. I mean, it was just, it was just so nice. It was so worth it. It was worth the bumpy rides on the airplane. Ah! All right. So <sighs> this is my view morning tonight all week and so all we gotta do is just cross that and then I don't think you'll be able to see but we do have a pool down there too so there's a pool for us to go down every hotel has its own pool and then so here's the bay so we can literally just walk over there to the bay they have a lot of fun things there so yeah this is my view I am so looking forward to this week holy cow plus I get to see my kid brought him cookies all the way from Michigan. <sighs> Isn't that just beautiful? I hope I see dolphins. I love dolphins so much. I guess you can go on a dolphin cruise, but I guess the water is super, super cold, which we should be used to because Lake Superior is like the coldest lake, Inland Lake. And look, it goes all the way down. Oh man, how pretty. All right, you guys. Well, make sure to subscribe and like to Just the Bells 10. And, uh, can't wait to get up in the morning with the sunset and have coffee. And Gideon wants us all to go exercise, so I'm going to be doing the stair stepper when they lift. This week, I'm going to come home five pounds heavier. Not heavier. <laughs> Lighter instead of heavier. All right. Happy spring break.